Textiles exhibit varying degrees of softness, sheen, and sheerness, depending on the nature of their fibers. These gently breathe life into fabrics and have even inspired metaphors in visual and literary culture that link them to the creation of the universe. Traditional Indian textiles are primarily made of seed fibers, cocoon fibers, animal hair fibers, and bark fibers. Of these, cotton, silk, and wool are most prominently used in India. Let's examine how they are used to make cloth. Widely grown across central and northern regions of the country, the cotton plant flourishes in warm and humid climates. The white, fluffy fibers that you see in this image are used to create thread or yarn that is then woven into textiles. The process of making yarn from cotton fibers consists of four distinct steps. The first step involves separating cotton fibers and seeds from the ball or protective case in which they grow. This process is called ginning. The next step, carding, involves separating and untangling the fibers from each other. These are then combed and arranged on the basis of their length. Finally, in the spinning stage, the combed fibers are spun into yarn on a spinning wheel or spindle. Cotton fabrics are typically absorbent, lightweight and breathable. They are used for a variety of functions such as clothing, home furnishings and accessories. Since ancient times, the desire for soft Indian cotton linked the subcontinent to a global network of exchange. While you might be familiar with the Silk Road through which Chinese silk travelled the world, Historians argue that the movement of cotton along the same routes was so prominent that it could even be considered a cotton road. Sericulture, or the cultivation of silkworms for textile production, has been prevalent in India for thousands of years. Indian silk textiles use indigenous varieties such as Tassar from eastern regions of the country Eri Muga and Path from the Northeast, as well as Mulberry Silk that was initially introduced from China through the Silk Road. Although Mulberry Silk is most widely used across India, the indigenous varieties are believed to produce threads that are three times stronger than any other silk in the world. While processes vary depending on the type of silkworms, let's look at how silk fibers are typically obtained. The first step in silk cultivation involves the rearing of silkworms. This is done by ensuring they have the right habitat and diet needed to produce silk filaments for spinning cocoons. The cocoons are then harvested. During this step, they are steamed to kill the pupae inside. The next step is degumming, which involves placing the cocoon in boiling water in order to soften the natural glue that holds its fibers together. Finally, at the unwinding stage, the silk fibers of the cocoon are gently removed and separated from each other. Although most silk production methods involve killing the silkworm, an exception to this is the airy silk, also known as the ahimsa silk. Its non-violent process allows the silkworm to complete its metamorphosis into a moth, after which it naturally pierces through the cocoon, leaving behind the fibers needed for silk production. Silk threads typically have a lustrous appearance. They are used to create luxurious garments as well as embellishments on fabrics. These textiles have historically served as markers of wealth and status. Commonly used in regions with cooler climates, woolen fibers are obtained from native breeds of sheep, goats, and yaks. The process of wool production involves transforming the delicate coats of these animals into yarns that are exceptionally soft and lush.
The first step in this process is shearing, which involves shaving off the animal's coat. This is followed by scouring, where the fibers are washed and cleaned to remove impurities. The cleaned fibers are then sorted according to length and texture, after which they are dyed in different colors. Finally, they are dried, rolled, combed, and spun into yarns. Woolen fibers are known for their ability to retain heat and are primarily used in insulation in the form of sweaters, shawls, carpets, and blankets. Although natural fibers are traditionally cultivated and processed manually, many of the steps we've discussed are now mechanized. In recent times, most natural materials are often used in combination with synthetic and chemically treated fibers such as nylon, polyester, viscose, and rayon that have lower costs of production and are easier to use. In fact, it's quite rare today to find textiles that are entirely made of natural fibers. Perhaps the next time you purchase a textile, whether an item of clothing or household accessory, you could pay closer attention to the materials it's composed of and where they came from.